Hey everyone, welcome to the start uh, of a new weekly reading vlog. Actually, this is not a weekly reading vlog because I'm just going to film like a couple of days because the entire week is just, I don't know, a bit too much. I don't have like anything to talk about every day. But anyway, um, yeah, the start of a new weekly reading vlog. Um, and yeah, as always, let's just start with what I'm currently reading. So the book that I'm currently in the middle of is Winter Girls by Laurie Halls. Anderson, and this is a book about a girl named Leah who suffers from an eating disorder. This one had been on my TBR for so long and I don't know, yesterday I just felt the urge to pick it up and yeah, in one day I basically already read like half of it, 136 pages. Um, yeah, it's a book that you can get through quite easily because of course it's a contemporary and the writing style is relatively simple. And so far I'm liking it, but I also think that it's sort of, I don't know, missing a certain something. I think this book so far feels a bit bland and I don't know, it's hard to say because of course it's about eating disorders, a very serious topic and something that I personally don't have any experience with so i cannot say if this book is very accurate or not i mean this book can be very important to people who have suffered from that and yeah so i cannot really say anything about that but uh, so far i do think that this book is lacking a bit of like personality so the main character leah um so far i don't know we don't really know that much about her apart from that she's very unhappy and that she has an eating disorder um I don't know if we're going to get more of a backstory further in the book, but so far it feels a bit, I don't know, a bit bland, a bit boring. Like there could have been more, there could have been, I don't know, a bit more to it. But again, you know, this might be a very important book for people who do have experience with it. Um, yeah, it's just for me personally, it's not completely doing it, but I do find it interesting. Um, I have read more books about eating disorders and so far this one isn't as great as some of the others that I've read. Um, but it's okay. It's a book that I can get through, as I said before, very easily. And I think I might almost like finish it today because, yeah, I don't know, again, um, I'm just flying through it. Um, so I'm going to finish this one very soon and then I can give you my final thoughts on it. Um, yeah, so let's just see how that goes. And then, of course, um, as always, I'm listening to an audiobook. And that one is still Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I'm somewhere around the middle with that one. Um, and yeah, that's going to be like, again, a whole book review about that. So yeah, cannot really say much about it right now. But it is, as always, very enjoyable, very good, like... Whew. The fun thing about the final book review is that I can finally talk about everything because... Uh, I cannot spoil future events anymore and talk about all the foreshadowing that has happened in previous books because there is so much, um, so many things are so well built up and yeah, I just love it so much. I love Harry Potter so much. Um, yeah, again, which I've said only a million times already on this channel, but... And then now I have to get a package to the post office. I think I'm going to get some groceries for lunch. And then after that, um, it's just, you know, the usual Monday work. I'm going to work from home um, on school and such. And let's hope that I can have a very productive day. That's also something that sort of helps with like vlogging. Um, it makes me more productive sometimes because, you know, when I say it on camera, I actually have to do it, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, let's just go to get started with that. later uh, i've worked on school a little bit uh, i've read a bit i'm now at page 180 so yeah a little bit further along um still yeah I'm, i am enjoying it i know i said that it's a bit bland at times but it is an enjoyable book or like it's not a very enjoyable topic but um the book is well written in that way if that makes sense and i do like it i just don't love it but it's definitely that sort of book that you just keep reading and then finish without almost noticing you know that you just read very quickly and that's nice because uh, after finishing ninth house because i finished it not during a reading vlog but i read a lot of ninth house last week that one is quite big and sometimes slow and like very heavy at times 
fantasy and lots of stuff happening and long and then it's nice to have a book that is just shorter easy to get through nothing too difficult like for my brain or whatever i do really want to read more fantasy especially during november um, i do have a tbr and everything but you do need like a simpler book or like yeah a shorter book every once in a while to sort of cleanse your reading palette at least i do because you know if you just read big fantasy book after big fantasy book your brain just starts malfunctioning um but yeah i'm reading a little bit more i think i'm going to finish this tonight i'm pretty sure of it because it's really not that much and yeah that's really nice and i have another book finished in october then i also cleansed my makeup brushes i washed them which is a chore that I really don't like, but that does need to happen every once in a while. You know, and then you cleanse your makeup brushes and I'm always sort of disgusted by the amount of filth and old makeup that comes out of them. <laughs> and then I think I should really cleanse them more often. And of course I don't do that because nobody wants to wash their makeup brushes really, you know, but yeah, I did that. Listen to more of my audiobook during that. Like that's the positive of that, that I can listen to my audiobook. So yeah, I'm... Uh, Getting ahead quite a bit through Deadly Hollows. So again, one that I'm going to finish this week. So far today is going well. Uh, and yeah, I need to get back to school stuff. And then I will keep you updated. So it is now Tuesday and as you can see I'm in my car because uh, I'm going to the hairdressers. Uh, nothing major, just like uh, a bit of a touch up of the color and you know just a little haircut. So nothing major but um, I always love going to the hairdressers because it's such a luxury you know to have your hair washed and everything. Um, and yeah also it's a beautiful morning like it's gorgeous outside it's really all fall color like and it's also cold but i don't mind because i love you know wearing warm coats and sweaters so yeah that makes me very happy um yeah i'm now off to the hairdressers actually because you know i have to be there in like five minutes um so i'm going to go inside so this is how it's going to look uh, before and then um yeah it won't be much of a difference you know it's just a touch up but it's always nice to have it styled and dried at the hairdressers it looks so much more professional so i'm going to go and then i will be back with you again shortly and this is how my hair turned out and i love it so much i hope it was in focus but it's turned out quite a lot redder than I had originally planned or like it was the last time. But I love it so much. It's so fall-like right now. And yeah, I really love how it's looking. And of course, like with reddish colors, it always lessens a bit over time because red is just so easily faded when it comes to hair. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh, it's so fall like I'm in love with this color. I loved it so much, in fact, that I actually filmed four videos this afternoon. Because, you know, it's looking so pretty. I have to show it off. So I'm kind of tired of talking and hearing my own voice. But I will do it again for this reading vlog. Um, because I have to give you guys some reading updates. First of all, I finished Winter Girls last night. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I still stand by what I said and that's mostly that I enjoyed it. But I thought it could have been a bit more. I also think the ending lacked a bit of closure. Um, it just wasn't completely up there. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion. I think I've read better books in this category. But it was a good book. Definitely not bad at all. And then the next book that I've picked up is actually uh, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. So uh, I was convinced to read this uh, because of Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. Because she's organizing this whole Bone Season readathon called Bonathon. Also, it's so wide that it's reflecting everything. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I've actually already started it this morning at the hairdressers. I'm now at page uh, 57. It's about a girl named Paige and it's about this dystopian sci-fi world. Um, basically in our world, but if things had gone different, you know. And it's about people who are clairvoyant, but it's very illegal to be clairvoyant. And Paige is a clairvoyant and... Um, yeah, that's sort of where the story starts. I don't want to say too much, especially because I don't know 
too much about it yet but i'm reading this one right now um don't know what i'm going to think of it i hope i will enjoy it but yeah i thought it was a nice opportunity to finally read it because it has been on my radar for a while now I've never read anything by Samantha Shannon before, so I hope I will enjoy it. And yeah, that is it for a little reading update for right now, because I'm so tired of talking. Yes, I will talk to you again later. Got myself a well-deserved snack after all that filming. Oh, my clock looks so weird on camera, but okay. Um, and it's homemade, so it's, you know, healthy and such. So yeah, healthy and delicious. What else do you want? It is now Wednesday and today um, I'm going to attempt another uh, day of studying at university because last week it was super busy uh, because of exam week so I couldn't find a single spot left in the university library but uh, I'm going to try again today and see if I can maybe find a spot I think so I think it should be fine today also again it's today another gorgeous fall day and it's again quite cold but I don't mind that much and I try to be a bit purple today uh i normally don't wear purple eyeshadow but i'm actually really enjoying it i really like how it looks so yeah that's sort of um yeah what i'm up to today for reading um i was just listening to uh deadly hallows again i'm at the ending now and of course that's always very um yeah difficult to get through because it is quite heartbreaking at times and yeah i cannot believe that i'm almost done with like a complete audiobook reread of harry potter in like I think a couple of weeks or so and it felt like no time at all i can never get enough of harry potter but yeah that's again something i like to say um every day at least 20 times or so um yeah really need to get on with filming the book reviews for the last two books and then um i think it's time to lay harry potter to rest for a little while at least with rereading and i also read a tiny bit more of the bone season not a lot I'm now at page, let me see, 81. Um, so far, I am actually liking it. I It's way too early to tell if I'm like actually going to love it. But uh, so far, it does sound promising. But I can also understand that some people might find it too long and with, you know, too much detail. I personally really love those kinds of books. But um, this is definitely one that can be a bit confusing, at least at the beginning so far. But I'm holding up and yeah, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, yeah, I really want to finish it. I don't know, maybe this week. Let's see. But it is a big one. So yeah, let's just see. I don't think I will manage during this reading vlog, but uh, we can always try to get as far uh, as possible. And yeah, now I'm going to pack my school bag, pack my laptop and uh, all this cool stuff and then catch my train and go to university and hopefully I can get a productive day done. It is the 31st of October, so that means it's Halloween. But um, yeah, here in the Netherlands, we don't really celebrate it. So it's never really meant anything to me. So basically for me, it's a very, very normal day. Um, yeah, also this morning, I finished Harry Potter and the Deadly Hollows by J.K. Rowling. So I finished my reread of all the audiobooks again. And it's always, I don't know, it always gives me so many emotions. Like it never gets old. <laughs> I love it so much and just the ending every time it makes you sort of happy and sad at the same time I just don't want Harry Potter to end even though of course it has already ended a long time ago but I don't know I still feel the feels every time just I cannot get around it so that is the second book I finished this week so yeah things are going pretty well with reading and um, yeah I'm just going to miss Harry Potter again I love reading it so much or listening to the audiobooks 
Um, but I really need to take a break now, as I've said before. Um, but I'm going to miss it, as always. I just, I, I really love Harry Potter so much. There's a reason that this is my all-time favorite series. I will never get enough of it. Like, I will keep rereading this until I die, basically. <laughs> I cannot wait to be an old grandma of, like, 90 years old and still rereading Harry Potter and... Oh, it's going to be amazing. So that was it for my Harry Potter audiobook reread. And I don't know which audiobook I want to listen to next. I have a couple of options, but I'm not completely sure. Um, yeah, so I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet. So that's something for a next reading vlog, I think. And then, of course, I'm also still reading The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I'm now at page 133. I read a little bit more of it last night. And surprisingly, I'm actually enjoying this quite a lot. I mean, I wasn't expecting to hate it, but I also didn't know if I was going to love it because opinions on the bone season are a bit divided. But I'm very much enjoying it and I don't find it difficult to get through at all, which is also surprising to me because I was expecting to have a little bit of trouble with the beginning but no it's actually quite easy to read and to get through even though it is a bit longer and a bit more detailed as i mentioned before and yeah i'm just i'm enjoying it and i cannot wait to see what's going to happen i love the world and i love the characters and it's just exciting and fun and also not so fun in some events but yeah really excited that there's this you know bone uh bone season read -a because it really forced me or not forced me but it really motivated me to pick it up and i'm very happy that i did and again as i've mentioned a couple of times before for. I'm in such a good reading mood. I just cannot get enough of reading right now. I have so much fun in reading and that makes me so happy. Especially after a long period of having a bit of a reading slump and having trouble getting through books. I'm now just having the most fun ever with reading um, and that makes me very happy because this is just my favorite hobby and I sort of miss it when I'm in a reading slump even though I'm not really able to get through books when I'm in that mood. But now I'm so happy to have reading again and yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy about that. And yeah, definitely going to continue with the bone season later today. Um, but I think this is probably a good time to end this reading vlog. So it did not end up being a weekly reading vlog, as I mentioned. But um, yeah, a four-day reading vlog. But I hope it was like an entertaining four days. And yeah, as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, maybe go subscribe or give it a thumbs up uh, if you want to. As always, I would really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you again very soon in my next video. <laughs> Bye.